I started to look for apartments like I was gonna give up. I was like, you know what? Maybe this whole van life isn't for me. That hot and bothered, that sick and tired, like just hating this heat, the flies, that can't have a nap, can't go anywhere, can't do anything. Check this out. Directly in front of us is a little cabinet desk thing. I like it. I was running earlier and I saw it. And I thought, actually, that's perfect. It's quite small, but it's a desk, but it's also drawers. Like, I could sit at it in the van. I could sit under here and then I'd have all these little drawers it's awesome I love it very very handy I'll take it so now we're gonna lift it in the van curtains are keeping me really cool. This is an insulated curtain. It's meant for like a patio door and it's keeping it cool in here because I've got air conditioning up front. Max AC. It's nice and cool. The back of the van is hot. I'm, I'm almost cool. I'm at maybe a, not even halfway. 20% of the van is cool. The mattress is less and less necessary. I think we'll move the mattress. I don't ever use it. Yeah, melons! We've got some seeded good ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll do for a week. <laughs> let's go, let's go, woo! I am the melon man. Safety first with your melons. Okay, I've been totally overheating and here's my tactics to overcome it. My shirt is currently wet. I took it in the shower with me in the gym. I haven't really filmed in the gym because they're like, no filming inside. You know, it's fair enough, that's their rules. I'm in this underground in indoor parking, you know, shaded parking. But when I open all the windows and let some airflow in, then all the flies come in and start landing on me. So I can't relax. They're just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. and it's just so annoying. And I was so hungry, and I was just like, Ugh. I wish I could just have a cool smoothie. And I suddenly remember, wait, I can have a cool smoothie. So I've got my blender, and here. We have power. <laughs> so I can still have a smoothie. I'm so happy about this. This means I can get my calories in. I'll just feel less grumpy and less like I'm overheating. And... <laughs> yeah! I've been paying $8 for a tiny, tiny little banana peanut butter shake. And it's a high fat version too, Jamba Juice, peanut butter, protein, where'd you get your protein? Bananas. So I've got this, which is my low fat peanut butter, that's already in there. Now I'm going to add the bananas. 
I'd normally add more than that. I just happen to only have four. It's fun to eat supper with your family, especially when there is good food on the table. I'm so happy about this solution. This just, this solves everything. Having enough calories is gonna make me happy. Yes! Cheers! Oh, the relief to be able to have a full-size smoothie. The Jamba Juice one is like a quarter of this size for $8. Mm. This tastes so good, and thanks to this, it's got that peanut butter banana flavor. Okay, team talk. I have had the solar panels delivered. They're in the back. You want to see them? See those cardboard boxes at the back? I need more panels too. I could only afford two. I need to buy four. Then I'll have a total of 700 watts. They're 175 each. 175 watts times 4 equals 700 watts. I feel so much better now. I just had this epiphany like I went in Jamba Juice. I sat there. I got my phone out and I was searching for apartments. I was that hot. That that hot and bothered. That sick and tired. Like just hating this heat. The flies. that can't have a nap. Can't go anywhere. Can't do anything. Can't can't park out in the sun. I'm just spending my whole time just like sort of uncomfortable. And so I started to look for apartments like I was going to give up. I was like, you know what? Maybe this whole van life isn't for me. And while slurping that Jamba juice in their air conditioned place, I was like, if I could just make my own smoothies, that would be a huge, you know, transformation I'd feel better I'd have enough calories and then I was like wait I've got the blender I've got the power there I can make a smoothie it was like ping there was like this light bulb moment everything changed and I dropped the apartment searching and I'm like yo fan life let's get the solar panels wired up when I can afford to buy more panels I will right now I'll have to just charge slowly use the air conditioning minimally but it's better than nothing it's a step in the right direction when I can afford to adapt and adjust and stick more on the roof I will this changed everything just this just being able to have a smoothie don't know why I didn't think of this sooner make a smoothie in the car park <laughs> brilliant <laughs> Cleaning the roof for the tape. I was thinking to glue it, but I think I'm gonna use mounting tape. I did think about buying a ladder from Home Depot or Lowe's. That's where I am in the car park. I think that could be good. The wind will like have a channel. <laughs> the tape stuck to the van. It got stuck. It's pretty sticky. That's just the edge of it. So it's meant to hold up to 30 pounds. I don't know if that applies if you're driving along the freeway and there's little air channels underneath your panels. I'm just going to have to test it step by step, slowly, slowly. Drive a little bit, check if it's still there. Drive a little bit, check if it's still there. Don't go too fast too soon. So, I just think this is more, I don't know, better than glue, I think. 
I might be wrong. There's 20 bucks for this stuff. So it better be good. Or I've wasted 20 bucks. I could buy a whole tube of glue. When I climb on the roof, I'm holding onto this little thing. <laughs> it's like, like I'm a climber and I've found one little thing to cling onto. I'm not sure it's a good thing to be clinging onto. Definitely less messy than glue. That's one benefit. I would have glue all down my, dribbling down my front, stuck to my chin or whatever by now. Okay, I used almost the whole roll of tape. That's the configuration. Oh, I missed a bit. Missed a bit. So every air channel is reinforced. The wind should flow under is my cunning plan. Wind, rain, whatever. I'm not trying to make it airtight, watertight. I'm allowing the air and the water to flow through. All right, no going back now. Zip. Whee, that was a satisfying, satisfying long one. Okay, now for the really sketchy bit. I've got to get that up there and stick it on by myself. I'm almost looking around for people who might be able to help. Like two people laying it down. I think I'm just gonna have to do it. we did it. I just hope it stays on. Well, the real question is, how stealthy is it when you stand here? It's not too obvious. You can see that there's some funny wires up there. It's like, what's that? Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Sebcast! <laughs> yeah!